We are at Grindr Plum and Go to drive the yeah. world's most powerful power wheels. Ethan's allowing us to drive his babies. I don't even want to call them the Princess Fleet. The Princess <laughs> Fleet. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're working on a top secret project, but we're taking a little break from the top secret excitingness or top secret work yes. to have a little bit of excitement and show everybody the trails. So yeah. we've got all three power wheels here. Tony's holding the camera at the moment. <laughs> He's gonna drive one, we'll take turns, we'll go rally around all the trails, have some fun. Yeah. And hopefully not crash or break anything. That would be nice. So this is the uh, oldest and original of the three off-road power wheels. This is Cinderella. <laughs> the Barbie Jeep or the Princess Jeep. Honda CRF 450, uh, four stroke, single cylinder dirt bike engine, supposedly around 50 horsepower output. Obviously, uh, well, we did have it on a dyno, but we blew it up, so uh, that was the when dyno it was- dyno or the car? The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we blew up the dyno. No, that was when we had it supercharged and we blew it up. Anyway, so it's got um, actual triangulated four link suspension in the rear, um, like a trophy truck or a rock crawler or whatever. Um, it's got, it's chain drive, um, has about 10 inches of travel in the rear. Uh, Fox shocks all around. Uh, the front is a really bizarre suspension that's kind of like a single A-arm slash Ford twin I-beam style suspension, um, where the pivot point is on the opposite side as the wheel that it travels with. Interesting. Um, but it's also sort of like an A-arm shape. It's kickstart only. You have to turn the steering wheel to the side and kick on this to start it up. Five-speed transmission, no reverse. And then we have the next iteration and in many ways the pinnacle of off-road power wheels extremeness known as Colonel Senders. Um, this one is four-wheel drive, long travel suspension all the way around. It has 10 to 12 inches of travel. The engine is a KTM 990 adventure engine, which is a thousand cc V-twin making uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 100 horsepower. Sheesh. Never, never had this one on the dyno, but that's wild. Um, this just looks beastly. It is. Yeah. It sounds beastly. It looks beastly. Uh, selectable four-wheel drive. Uh, a whole separate box here for reverse. It's out of a snowmobile, and that also acts as the transfer case. It has a six-speed transmission, so it does have reverse, and it has six speeds forward and six speeds in reverse. Never used anything other than first gear in reverse, but very, very fast. First gear is pretty much all you need for the whole property here. You can get into second on the track if you're going really fast, but you don't, it's it's geared very high. I'll remember that. Uh, <laughs> then over here we have the Barbie Dream Camper, which is largely the same platform as that, um, drivetrain wise, not the engine, but it is entirely Kawasaki Brute Force 750 as far as the drivetrain goes, engine, transmission, all of that, but Everything's been rearranged and the, almost 100% of the chassis is new. The wheelbase has been shortened six and a half inches from when it was the ATV. And then it's been widened eight inches uh, the, with the suspension. The chassis is the same width, but the suspension arms are four inches longer on each side, which gives it, I think, 10 and a half inches of travel in the front and something like 14 in the rear. That's crazy. Uh, it's a lot, yes. And this one actually has a roll cage and a four point racing harness that's the right pink color to match. Cozy. Yeah. I'm so excited. I've been bugging him for like every 30 <laughs> minutes since we've got here to yeah. do this. So you've been here for like two days, yeah. so how annoying. I think you probably mentioned it like <laughs> when you got off the airplane. You're like, oh, can, I I drive, can I drive the Barbie camper when we get there? Yeah, I'm like, I need to do this. Like, <laughs> like this is bucket list level. I wish it was like fully finished, but you know, it's close enough. It drives Nothing's well. ever fully finished. No. Nothing. Your chariot awaits. This is literally the coolest thing I've ever driven in my life. Does it fulfill all your hopes and dreams? Yes, my legs are shaking right now. Like, <laughs> I can actually see it's that. It's literally shaking, <laughs> I can't stop it. I yeah. love seeing people drive these for the first time. It's, it's the greatest fun. thing ever. Hi, right right, Johnny. Yeah. It's so predictable. Yeah, it is. Like, like, it's so squishy. Like, I didn't even feel it. Nope. <laughs> Tony's driven many, many 
fast cars in many situations. He's done a lot of autocross, so he's he's a winner, a winning race way <laughs> racing driver more than any of the rest of us. I didn't know if he'd hit the jump first lap. I, I I feel like a failure because I did it in my first lap. We also I watched me do it, so. Yeah. He knows the lines. He finds the lines, he sticks to them. What do you think, Tony? That was awesome. <laughs> All right, you've driven many high performance cars. What's your take? I mean, like I said, well, before we started this, I was concerned because I have zero off-road off experience. And this made me feel like it was easy. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> yeah. It's this. weirdly confidence inspiring. It's yes. such a bizarre machine. So uh, Ryan and Tony have had their warm-up laps. They've got used to the track and the machine. Now it's time to see which one of them is faster. Uh, we still haven't decided what their consequence for losing is. I think Tony's gonna be faster. I think I, I gotta get this corner better. I was coming that in too hot. It's very hard. Yeah, yeah. I it's agree. coming in yeah. too hot. That's my approach up this hill, but I think if I get that, I'll take you. I mean, Steven's idea was dunk your head in the creek. Oh, I'm, that was your Will's yeah, idea. My idea was jump in, jump in the pond. Wherever that is. Jump in the pond? Yeah. Oh, that is nasty. Yeah. I mean, you can. It's just yeah. muddy, gross water. Is that That's it? A Jump in the pond, run straight to the shower. Jump in the pond. All right, jump All in right. the pond. How do you feel about jump that? In jump in the pond. That's the goal. Right. Loser has to jump in the pond. All right. There we go. Yeah. Is that I'm is that an acceptable not challenge? It's not dangerous or anything. Right? It's yeah, just, just going to be cold and nasty. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to regret this. What, you want to do best of three? Like, you get three laps or two laps sure. or what? Yeah. What do you think, Will? Can you do sub 30 on his first try? I think so. I think they're both going to do sub 30. I think right. so. Well, there's good news and bad news. Okay. Oh, that's my fault. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, the good news is you beat a time that I have done in a vehicle. Oh, no. The bad news is it was my time in the Unimog. Ah. <laughs> you did it in 34.4 seconds. Okay, okay. Which is not terrible. I, I know also, where I need to brew. This berm will save you a lot of time, and okay. so will that one. Okay, all right, I'll uh, use the berm this time. Also, your start was a little... Yeah, it, 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 it like died on me. Yeah, it, it fluttered. That wasn't your fault, that was it. That's okay, that's why we had three, that's why we had three runs. Yeah. It's warm now. That's, nice. that's a good improvement. That's a good improvement. So you shaved off two seconds off your first time. Okay. You're down to 32.48. Okay. Which is not bad considering you've never driven this track before today or this vehicle. Yeah. So this is your final, final attempt. Thirty-two seven three. So right. thirty-two four is the time to beat, time Tony. To beat. All right. Uh, well, that you, goes a little wonky. you broke the axle. Oh no! oh, no! It just broke the weld, though, so all I have to do is pull it and re-weld it. So sorry, old girl. It's okay. It's Way really go, not a big Ryan. deal to fix it. Way to go, Ryan. Way to go. 32.4? I'm proud of that. That's yeah, not a bad time. Thank like you. Ethan said, your first time on the track, first time in that kind of vehicle. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of that. Yeah, dude, you crushed it. Thank nice. you. Yeah. That's, that's the reinforcement I need after breaking the axle. <laughs> you have to pay for that axle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is terrible.
That was his what? First, his first time lap was a 29.95. Ryan, get on your swimsuit. You're Wait, going for a swim. I, well, Tony, you can do two more laps if you like, but you don't need to. <laughs> you beat me by two seconds. I feel good about that. I'd like to try another lap. Go for it, yeah. On that one, Tony. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was a good start and a good end, but the middle there, you just. All right. Well, then I'll stop while I'm ahead. All right. <laughs> so what's the situation, Ryan? Well, Tony beat my time by like two point whatever seconds. So now I have to honor our bet and jump in the pond. Oh, I'm excited to see this. <laughs> yeah, it looks it looks relatively wet down there. Oh, it's that <laughs> is uh, how ponds tend to be. <laughs> Are these weird? Beetles. They, they swim. swim. Go, buddy. They can breathe underwater. Go. They bite. Go, go, go. It looks like a good soft muck pile for you to jump into. What the muck? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I can barely breathe. This is so cold. That was a pretty mild reaction. <laughs> it was more shocked than anything. I think I want to get a hot shower no. now. Shush. No, we're just going back to work. Okay. <laughs> oh. I like Sendy the most. Yeah. Strictly because it's extremely raw. You can feel every bump because it doesn't have excessive suspension on it. Like I was accelerating down the hill in the back, which I could not do in any, like either other vehicle. Yeah, Tony, what do you think of that one? I love this one. I don't know that I ever hit full throttle. Probably but not. <laughs> you don't need it, and no. it, it's so much fun. Yeah, this I, this is my favorite for sure. Yep. Yeah. Same. Yeah. <laughs>